do a presentation on coral reefs. In this presentation, you will learn benefits, threats, and what a coral reef is. A coral reef is basically just living organisms, pretty much coral, that combine together to make a big barrier that is home to many marine wildlife and also algae. Algae is the main factor in it because algae and then have a symbiotic relationship to where algae feeds the coral pretty much, gives it oxygen and sugars, and in return the coral reef will pro uh, provide protection for the algae and makes it a home to stay. Benefits of a coral reef, one is oxygen, like I said in the uh, introduction. What coral reefs do is they give housing to a bunch of algae and the algae actually releases 70 to 80 percent of the overall, overall Earth's oxygen into the atmosphere. Without, basically if we kill off all the coral reefs like apparently we're doing right now, we will run out of oxygen quite quickly. The second one is medicines. For years scientists have been trying to find good medicines from coral reefs. Uh, here's a list of four I have, AZT, ERA A, ERA C, and Dolostone, Dolostin, uh, Dolostatin 10. These AZT combats AIDS, and not only does uh, we have them that combat AIDS, but it combats cancer, asthma, arthritis, and inflammatory disorders. Arthritis is particularly concerned to one of my teachers well, not really my teacher, one of my favorite teachers that I don't have, unfortunately, Miss Spicer. Um, next is the food chain. Coral reefs have, are home to over 9 million different species in the overall ocean. And these species play a great part in the food chain. If we kill off 9 million species of marine wildlife, then you're looking at, we'll probably never eat seafood again. Uh, basically, how the food chain works there is the coral reefs have all the little small organisms, little bitty baby ones, and all that. And the big guys come around, they eat them, get bigger, and we catch the big ones to eat. Pretty much how to look at it right there. Now, that's it for benefits. Threats: We have one right here called anchoring. It's when it usually. Uh, Gulf of, not Gulf of Mexico, it's usually Atlantic Ocean, uh, where the coral's not too high up onto the surface, but it's still down there. Boat, fishing boats like to go fishing in coral reefs because it has a lot of bigger fish around them. So when they park their boat on top of the coral reef, they have to set that anchor down so the ocean doesn't carry them away. And when that crashes down there, it boom, just destroys it. Also another one is ghost fishing. It, ghost fishing is when fishermen like to trap fish, catch lobsters, crabs. Um, basically they set the trap down, they are trying to pull something up or something and they lose grip, goes down there, can't get it back, and it just sits down there catching crabs, fish, everything. It just kills them off because no one can pull it back out. Um, Actually, ghost fishing gets so bad that all trap fishing is banned in Florida. You cannot trap fish in Florida. Uh, here's another one over here, boat fishing. This is usually common in Australia where boat where the coral is fairly close to the surface and any boat that has a nice hole on the bottom like goes down a little bit in the ocean. Uh, It'll hit the very top of a coral reef. It'll, it'll really destroy the boat, but it destroys the coral. And last for the threats is coral bleaching. This is when, like I said before, the algae and coral have a symbiotic relationship. So if the algae die off, then the coral dies off. And the coral dies off, the algae dies. Yeah. Well, this is when algae can no longer photosynthesize to get the oxygen and sugars that it gives the corals. So basically, the algae will die off, and after the algae die off, coral doesn't get their oxygen and sugars anymore, so the coral will turn white and just basically crumble. Um, this is mainly affected by global warming, because the rise in temperatures and depths of the water 
will basically stop sunlight and we all know the definition of those substances. I'm Barney Bayless, double B's. This is my presentation on coral reefs.